Hi, welcome back to Bath Time with Brielle. So basically one of my biggest bath dreams has come true. So Lush sent me a box full of bath bombs and when I tell you I cried, I'm sure you actually believe me. So yeah, now that I'm a famous influencer, like, life is pretty tight. I'm kidding, but I'm actually like so genuinely happy. Thank you so much, Lush. So this specific bath bomb is called Cheer Up Buttercup. And it smells like citrusy. It smells like a really nice, like, summery day in the park. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and try it out. Look at that product placement. So I get a lot of questions regarding sexually transmitted infections. And so I thought I would take like an entire episode to answer just a few of them. So the first question is, how do I ask someone if they're clean? First, you never ever want to ask someone if they're clean or not. Using the term clean only perpetuates the stigma that people with STIs are dirty or not worthy of having sexual partners. And that's fucked up. It's fucked up. So we don't want to ask it that way, okay? The correct wording would be, when was the last time you got tested for STIs? Or have you been tested for STIs recently? We have to take away the belief that it's scary or weird or taboo to talk about STIs. Half of sexually active people will contract an STI by the time they're 25. So, oh my god, you won't believe this, but I have found a way where you will never risk getting an STI ever in your life. You want to know what it is? Never ever ever sexually engage with any other human ever again. Next question. I've tested positive for herpes. How do I tell my future partners? So before I get into your question, I just want to go over a few facts. So according to the American Health Association, it's estimated that one out of five people have genital herpes. It's also estimated that one out of two people have oral herpes. Also, a lot of people who have herpes are asymptomatic, which means they don't show the common symptoms of having herpes. Herpes can be contracted from skin-to-skin -skin contact. To lessen the chance of passing on herpes to a partner, you should avoid sexual contact during an outbreak, you should always use condoms, and you should look into taking an antiviral medication. When you take those precautions, the chance of passing it on is highly reduced. One of the best times to get tested is when you have an active outbreak. They take a sample straight from the sore and they test it from there. Another way is a blood test. Okay, so back to your question. Telling your partner that you have herpes might sound something like this. I'm so excited to have sex with you, but before we do, there's something I want to tell you. I want to let you know that I have genital herpes. I take suppressive therapy and the chances of me passing it on are pretty low, but there's still a risk. If you need time to process this, I understand but I'd love to answer any questions you might have or send you info on the topic. So that's it. That's kind of the spiel. And unfortunately, some people might reject you for that, but the right person won't. If you want to hear more about how people deal with telling their partners or how they deal with the social stigma, go on over to www.thestdproject.com. Good luck to you. I love you. Know that you are worthy. Know that you can continue to have a normal dating life and a normal sex life. Next question, how often should I get tested? Well, it depends. If you're experiencing symptoms, then get tested right away. I'd say if you have very few partners, getting tested once a year is like the minimum. Some people get tested after every new partner and some people get tested about every three months. It really just depends on your sexual activity. It's up to you. Where can I get tested? You can get tested at your healthcare provider. You can get tested at Planned Parenthood. You can go to Quest Diagnostics. If you live in Brooklyn, my favorite place to go is the Crown Heights Sexual Health Center. So that's it for today's episode. I want you to remember that STDs are not scary. I can't emphasize enough how important it is for us to talk about this with an open heart and an open mind and to just go get tested. Be open about your status. Be honest and truthful about your status and don't say you've been tested when you haven't been. And if you aren't sure, then go with your new partner and go get tested together. And if you do end up getting an STI, it's not the end of the world. You're still worthy of love, and you're still important, and your STI does not define you. Because getting tested is sexy. This bath bomb is so lovely. There's like a little bit of glitter in it, and I smell like a lemon, and I love it. Okay, see you next time. Bye.